Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about Eternal Masters. Eternal Masters will be spoiled soon. Currently the price point is $9.50 a case. A case has 4 boxes instead of 6 boxes that a normal case would have. And it's $2.50 a box. A box does not have 36 boost packs. It has 24 boost packs. So the boost packs are a little more than $10 a pack. Now we know that Force of Will is a mythic, and we know that Wasteland is a rare, and that's about it. So is it worth a gamble? First of all, I will tell you how much I get these. I get them for about eight fifty a case, which is not bad. It's about two hundred. I mean, two hundred some chains, two hundred and fifteen, and then there's tax on top of that. The last time I did Modern Masters two thousand fifteen with some of my subscribers, they all bailed. When I mean all, I meant we had seven different people buy boxes or cases, and I was left with a ton of product, which luckily I just resold to a local friend of mine who owns a store. So I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to do that again. But what's a good price for a box? I think eight, 800, 850 is a very, very good price for a case. A box, if you can get a box for 215, 225, that's probably a very good price for a box. But understand, it's still a gamble. It's like a lottery ticket. You cannot really expect to make more money from this box. I mean, it would be ridiculous. Otherwise, the store would never sell you a box if they were guaranteed more money because they would just open all the boxes themselves and sell the singles. I mean, that's how economics works. Uh, your local game store is in it to make money. Um, and if they have a limited release set and the set goes for, let's say, 240 MSRP and they can get 400 for it, it makes economical sense for them to try to get 400. Now, not every store is like that because a store might value customer behavior. It might value customer retention and making their customers happy. One of the stores I go to is like that. The other store is not like that at all. So it depends. Like it, it gives the option to the store owner how to manage this limited stock. Now, I'm overwhelmed kind of... I should have known this because I've ordered Modern Masters 2015 and Modern Masters 1, but like $1,000 for a case of anything is really expensive. Like, even cases of vodka do not run $1,000. Uh, I mean, I guess they could if it was high-quality vodka, but I just drink Grey Goose, and a case of Grey Goose, a six-bottle case of Grey Goose does not cost $1,000. So... When you compare it to other items, this is a gamble and it is a very large investment. $1,000 is a ton of money for pretty much everyone. Eternal Masters, will it be worth it? Definitely not. Will I still gamble with it? Yes. Will you see packs on this channel? Probably yes. Anyway, bye guys.